Hello. Hi, everyone. Happy Monday. Happy April 1st, Monday. Wow. And if you didn't see it, yes. Um, episode 75. Wow, wow, wow. So I just literally got back um, a couple hours ago from up in Reno. I will have to share. Um, stay tuned on my personal um, feeds. You probably will see some snow, all kinds of stuff. But I want to get go ahead and give everybody a chance to jump on. So let me, um, okay, let me go on in. Okay, it's working. <laughs> right on, right on. Okay, so it is working. So let's get started. Oh, no, it says the live ended. Oh, no. Did I end? Okay, I am not sure. Hold on here. Okay, say hello. Let me know. Because it just said it ended, but I'm. it looks, it says I'm still a lot. I'm still alive. Live. I'm still alive. I see this red little button up here that says live. Um, no. Okay, so no. I'm, oh, I'm still live on here. Okay. I pray the word works on purpose. Pray angels surround you. Wow, thank you so much. I don't know who that is. If you guys tap the little button that says give StreamYard permission, then um, I'll be able to see who it is. But all right, let me run over here and make sure. Okay, all right. I think I jumped on the wrong one. So... All right, let's try this again. I was going to, I always kind of, um, so welcome. And um, all right. So the first thing we're going to do is just welcome to, can you believe it? It's the 75th episode of Camp Gambini Motivational Monday. So over on this side, you'll see it says Camp Gambini. Camp Gambini is our kind of tribe, our community um, that has been going on now for four years officially in March. Um, we created our our own group and kind of community about two years ago, I think. And um, Motivational Monday probably has actually been around longer than 75 episodes, but I only started counting when I went live inside the um, Camp Gambini community. Camp Gambini is part of um, Connecting the Dots coaching with Jody Gambini. It really is the place where um, I pour in um, just little nuggets, all kinds of things. But every Monday, we normally go live and do Motivational Monday. Well, it's April 1st, and I was just like, I don't even know if I can make it all happen because um, we had to hit the road. There was, um, yeah, we didn't even know if we we're going to be able to get over 80 because there was a big rig that hit, I think, a snow plow and anyway it all was cleared by the time we got down and back here um but let me know say hello where you're joining from um okay yes i am live all right all right yeah it looks like i'm live so this is really good um all right Okay. All right. So let me know where you're joining from. We're going to get kind of officially started because I did a little bit of letting people know I was coming on, but I probably didn't do a great job of it. So, all right. Oh, okay. It's over here. All right. So hello, Vincent. I'm streaming at more than one place. So hello, YouTube. Hello, um, Campfire Friday. Hello, J. Joe. Hello, Vincent. Beautiful prayer. Thank you, Vincent. Beautiful prayer. 
Um, let's see who else said hi. All right. So we're going to drop it in here as well. And um, yeah, I can't even believe it. So I would love if anybody remembers um, a fond moment on Motivational Monday. So Motivational Monday is always, sometimes I release what they call in kind of the Christian circles, a prophetic release, but it really is something the Holy Spirit's just putting on my heart. Um, he may be speaking. So sometimes I literally would just speak words of encouragement, scriptures over people, actual words of different things the Lord was um, giving me. So it always looked a little different, um, but the main focus was it was Monday and it was to motivate us and just the Lord to give us that Holy Spirit fire and infusion of hope and joy and peace um, for the whole week. So it always looks different. And I have a couple things here, but I feel like I'm going to um, share a couple of things with you. I just got a message um, from a friend. I'm working on let me know here if anybody has ever watched an episode. I had two seasons of Coffee and Dreams with Jody and Friends. I kind of, I've felt like the Lord was saying that I need to keep Motivational Monday kind of pure to what we do on that and um, Campfire Friday. So I'm wanting to do an additional area where I bring people on, I interview them. Um, we may not be live. We may not be live, but um, yeah. So, Dan, you might need to shut the door here. Okay, sorry, Dan just got home. All right, so let me know if you guys would be interested in that. Um, it probably, like I said, I may interview people ahead of time. But anyway, this is our 75th episode. Yes, and I just can't even believe it. So I just wanted to welcome you all in here. And oh, yeah, it is April, but this is not April Fool's, okay? <laughs> I'm going to tell you, I thought it here. I should have said it's not, it. I'm not fooling you though. It really, is the 75th episode and so I was really hesitating like do I wait and do it next week because I knew it was going to be the 75th but it is April 1st um so anyway I would love to know um are you guys excited about April April is like you know they always say April showers make um May flowers is they I don't know who they is at this moment. If anybody knows that quote and knows who they is, <laughs> I, we actually have this kind of joke going with my husband and some of um, my family. They're like, well, who is they? I'm like, oh, whoever I read. <laughs> so now I'm hesitant to say they. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, it are you excited about April? What is one thing you are excited about? I, um, what I wanted to get in and kind of share with you all was, um, a couple of things that I experienced this weekend, um, while we were up visiting family and God speaks to us in all different ways, but, um, you know, we have eyes we can actually see things and things sometimes stand out. Have you ever like just seen something and you're just like, why is this standing out to me so much? Um, God speaks to us in all kinds of different ways. So um, that is sometimes the way he speaks to me is actually seeing something in the real. And then I'm like, what are you saying about this? And um, so I kind of have this experience on Saturday on Saturday when I woke up, Sunday when I woke up, and then today. Um, so I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about it. And I would love to know um, if, what God might have be saying to you. All right. 
Okay. So no one's responding to me now. It's gotten quiet in here. All right. That's okay. That is okay. So I'm going to get, if you guys are still joining, let's go ahead and let me know where you are joining from. So welcome, 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 welcome. And say hello. I probably should have put that all together because I have to keep clicking back and forth that you can see it all. But um, I'm just going to kind of share something. I'm going to grab some scriptures. I think they're right here. I can actually see them. So um, yeah, I'm kind of, I may share those. And so I wanted to have them happy. Handy, happy, <laughs> happy, handy, all the things. But um, all right. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so I think I've got a few new comments. Do I have some new comments? All right. So yes, say hello. Let us know where you're joining from. We are officially on the 75th episode. I know there wasn't a whole lot of hoopla about it. So um, it's okay. You guys can watch later. But I would love for you to let me know where you're joining from. Um, you know, if you ever have tuned into a Motivational Monday and there is a Motivational Monday that was really significant to you, I'd love to hear it. Um, and you can drop it in now, later, when you watch this. It's all cool. It's all great. And um, yeah, I was looking for anyone that maybe had a highlight. Um for a highlight that they're thinking of, or even just a highlight for Resurrection Sunday, um, which was Easter. So let's see here. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead. So here is um, joining from Tennessee. Hi, welcome right on. We've got Kenya. So wonderful. Hi. Hello. Hello. I'm going to stop looking at my phone now and come right over here because it was all kind of late and I really only have about a quick 10 minutes because I got to go pop dinner in the oven. It took me longer than I expected to get on. But you know what? Um, so as I, I got to, um, I feel like I'm just going to share a little bit of some scriptures. I think I'm going to end with this. And I just want to give you um, how the Lord was speaking to me. And I feel like it might be significant to somebody on here. Maybe it'll just encourage you. Or maybe it'll just encourage you of ways that maybe you didn't even know God can speak. So um, I woke up on, I think it was Saturday morning. Yes, it was Saturday morning. And there was snow all over the ground. And it was so cool. It was because it's the end of March and we were up visiting my, my husband's sister. We were staying at her house outside of Reno. So they do get snow. But when we drove over on Thursday, because there was a storm that was supposed to be coming in Monday morning or Friday morning, I think. But what's really funny is it didn't come in till late Friday night, but we were afraid we we're going to get stuck in it. 
is when you come from California and go up over, there's an area where they call it the summit, which is kind of the highest um, elevation and it can get a lot of snow. So as we traveled in, we saw over by the ski resorts, all of that was tons of snow. And then once we passed a little past that area, it was like all no snow. And you, I mean, you could see the snow on the mountains way far out, but as we drove all the way into Reno, nothing was covered with snow. Okay. Um, and we were really, I mean, we still gotten a ton of snow at that point. And a lot of the ski resorts are already seeing that they're probably going to have their ski resorts open till like June. So our mountains have gotten some amazing snow, right? And we purposely came over early so we could avoid being caught in the middle of it, especially on Easter weekend, where a lot of people are probably driving over. So we got there. We didn't see any snow until we woke up, though, Saturday morning. And it was all covered. Thank you so much much. Thank you so much. Yes, it's the 75th episode um, of Motivational Monday. And so um, I just feel like sometimes you're expecting something. Sometimes you go out of your way for something and you're like, what the heck? It didn't, it didn't even really affect me. Right. And then all of a sudden, right, the all of a sudden. So I don't even think I had opened the blinds for a little bit. So I didn't even know there had been snow. And then I opened the blinds and it was snow and it was awesome. And um, I went out and took some pictures of it. And then the sun came out and it melted all the snow away. <laughs> I think this was, it could have, it, it could have, and now I'm kind of, losing track. Was it, did we get snow? I might've gotten snow on Friday. It may have been Friday. It might've been good Friday. I, anyway, we got snow. No, it was Saturday. We got snow and then all the snow was off everywhere. And then later that day, about four o'clock, it started to hail like out of nowhere, just this thick hail. And so um, I went and I got to see a few friends and matter of fact, we were even nervous. Should I go home? Is it supposed to snow? Well, it didn't. I went to bed, was in the midst of just getting ready really because we were going to um, Resurrection Sunday service at my sister-in-law's home um, church. She has such an amazing pastors and they hosted at their church and I opened the blinds and there I see another blanket of snow and actually we got more snow that time and i was like i thought it was cool to get it on saturday because it was just like out of nowhere to me that always just um it speaks to purity white speaks to you know um all of the things and but to me it just always brings childlike excitement as long as you're not in the midst of like two feet of snow where you get stuck in some place and it's serious business but i think that's the first snow i've seen in 2024 or probably even 2023 because I didn't, no, 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 no. In 2023, I got to see unusual snow in February in Red Bluff. That's right. So I had, so I always, I believe that God speaks in signs and wonders and miracles, right? But sometimes some wonders are just like, wow. So it was super unusual. It had never snowed in Red Bluff when that happened in 2023. So I've never, normally when we go up to Reno area to spend it with my Gambini side of the family, um, it's kind of exciting. Sometimes we've had snow at Thanksgiving and sometimes we've had snow at Christmas. But the last Christmas we were up there, we didn't have snow. So I, but I've never been up there on an Easter when we've had snow, never. So anyway, highly unusual again, but now we got it on Easter Sunday. And if you go look on my pages, I posted several things and I'll probably do a few more because I captured more interesting, cool things today. But anyway, um, let's stay on Sunday. And I just was like, I was out there and looking at it all. I got ready because I wanted to get ready early so I could go out and capture some pictures. And it just was like, it was actually Easter Resurrection Sunday. And if you haven't followed um where you know you celebrate that um 
God sent his son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. And then in three days, he rose again and um, to forgive us from our sins. And so there's there's a song or a saying which it washed us white as snow. So um, when we receive it we get washed white as snow and I was just like this is so awesome so it was all over and then we got in the car and we were driving out and the um, home church it was at was up on this little mountain area that looked over Mount Rose and all like it was just such a beautiful snowy view I had again I felt like this like childlikeness of just excitement and joy I was like oh my gosh how cool is this I had to change the outfit I was gonna wear I was actually gonna wear this here um, but I had to change the outfit to wear more of like a long flannel pink um, kind of jacket thing because I'm like, I think I'm going to be cold. And I had to put my boots on. <laughs> I'm like, because I want to be able to walk around a little if I want to walk around in the snow. So they worked out really good because they have a big waffle, you know, so like you got to wear the right things to the right place, right? So um, my husband always laughs. He's like, why did you bring so much clothes? I'm like, actually, I wore like all of it. And he's like, okay, I don't know which one's scary. I'm like, because you got to wear layers. I went out and did different things. So anyway, it was more beautiful snow as I was looking at all of it. And then, um, so it was just, you know, we had a wonderful time there. They had, a, like everybody brought stuff for brunch and, I just felt the presence of just what we were celebrating. It was just so beautiful. And then we got to have great time with our my um, my sister-in-law and um, my other sister-in-law and brother-in-law and my husband. And we had prime rib and asparagus and these specials baked potatoes. But really the best part was we were just sitting at the table, even talking about some things with my brother-in-law who's gone to heaven. And, you know, because sometimes two years later, sometimes just being able to process things is really healing. So it was just this really beautiful time. Then we had to drive home today and we are getting ready <laughs> Um, my sister-in-law, I'm so grateful because she always thinks of everything. So she was listening in to see if the roads were going to be clear. And there was a big rig truck that I guess he hit a, a snow guy that was putting sand down to make it anyway. So they had shut the entire freeway down, but then they reopened it. As we're leaving my sister-in-law's, all the mountains that had not had any snow on it, the lower mountains, like the big mountains, they have big snow on it and people are, but all of the mountains you could see the when we came in, they didn't have any snow as we're leaving. It's snow, snow, snow. So I got so many pictures. I'm like, and, and videos and stuff. And we had snow all the way down. Um, and it was just beautiful. And like literally some of the snow was pushed. It, it had to be three to four feet high as, you know, the snow plows come. And so it was like in abundance, the snow. Um, and then all of a sudden, both Dan and I didn't, we, we kept going, well, where did this accident happen, this big rig? And then all of a sudden, it was way past where it said it was. We see this big rig truck that had gone off the side, and it was literally like this. I don't even know how they got it there. Um, secure. Oh, I think Callie wants us to tell this is Callie. I'll have to tell you what we came home to, too. But anyway, it was just majestic. It was just like, have you ever just felt like it just reminds me of God's creation, but also how he'll do things that are special. So for some people, you might care less about snow. For some of you, like the weather and seeing the sunset and the sunrise might not be a thing for you. It is for me. I, it's a really big thing for me. I love it. Like, I just, I don't know what it is, but it just brings me such joy of the Lord. Um, it just reminds me that we have a creator. So it's just always, it, it would be almost as exciting as some other things, you know, like going to Disneyland for me anyway. 
that's a total another story because I actually worked at Disneyland and I got to go behind the scenes and backstage and I know everyone loves Disneyland, but once you experience it on that level, I have talked to my friend about coming and visiting. She still works there. But anyway, that's a side note. Shout out, Noreen. Um, but it just was so beautiful. And then here's what's really crazy. We like had stopped to go to the um, rest stop and it was cold still. It was a little cold. And then all of a sudden we were both like taking our jackets off we could the sunshine was sunny in and right as we realized that we looked at all the big tall um you know pine trees and there was no snow there's no snow anywhere so just like that it was like we dropped elevation and as soon as we dropped elevation now we stepped into no snow beautiful sun um, green everywhere. And so I just really reminded me of how things could shift in a moment. And they were both beautiful. I loved all, all the snow. And I love the second half of our drive home, looking at all the fields that were still green and the sunshine, you know, you can just feel the sunshine on your face and now you're too hot. So you have to take your heavy jacket off and everything. So I just wanted to share that because I just felt like the Lord was just speaking in all of it that, you know, both the part to me, snow just it is like a fresh start. It's pure. And there's just, I even was saying to Dan as we were driving home, I'm like, you know, it's just so beautiful to see snow on all the mountains. I don't know what it is the contrast it's just it never gets old to me now i'm sure if i lived somewhere where there was snow all the time for like months on end it probably would get old <laughs> but for me especially it's up in the sierras if any of you have ever heard of tahoe Truckee area it's just beautiful it's absolutely, there's all these pine trees and we've been driving up there for at least one holiday a year, if not two sometimes. Um, and so, you know, it also reminds me of the fact that we are overflowing with water again and the droughts that we had are like, you know, I remember praying for the drought to be broken. I remember praying for like snow to just be there till June, like when we were in the midst of it. So it just reminds me of, you know, how God provides, how he has answered prayer. So yesterday, what was really cool is um, my um, the pastor, she's just so amazing. And she, um, I had never seen, matter of fact, I'm going to be kind of enjoying this and I brought this home, but it had the whole Easter Bible story. But what they did was they took all the gospels that um, the last supper is in the, all the different important parts of the Easter story, along with the crucifixion, along with when he rose again and in Matthew, Mark and Luke. And so in all these, we, they read all of the Matthew accounts which is different because it's from Matthew and then all the Luke and all that and it was so cool and then at the end she um, had some scriptures that were not just from Matthew and it was this is what the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ means for those who choose to believe him so um, there was seven scriptures and seven points so I just felt like I wanted to end with this. Um, and number one is we are forgiven. So first John 1 19, but if we confess our sins to him, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from our unrighteousness. So just remember that if you're living with something that you feel like you're holding in, all you have to do is confess it to the Lord and he will cleanse us from all righteousness. He will cleanse you white as snow. And number two, we are saved. Hebrews 7, 25. Therefore, he is able once and forever to save those who come to God through him. He lives forever to intercede with God on your behalf. He is on the, they're inter, you know, 
He lives forever and he's interceding for us on our behalf. Even when we don't ask for it, even when we don't pray, even when we don't do that. Like to me, um, have you ever had like an answer to something? And you're like, I wasn't even praying for that. I should have prayed for that. I didn't. I should have took that to the Lord. I didn't. But yet he does. And then number three, we are accepted. Romans 15, 7. Therefore, accept each other just as Christ has accepted you so that God will be given the glory. It doesn't say we have to agree and everything, but except, therefore, except th these are um, written Romans 15, 7. And then number four, we are valuable. You are valuable. J. Joe, you are valuable. I don't know who's still on here. If you are, type your name in and I will tell you, um, you are accepted. You are valuable. 1 Corinthians 6 20. For God brought you with a bought you with a high price. So you must honor God with your body. You are valuable. No. Number five, we are strong. Isaiah 40, 31. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. This is one of my favorite. They will walk and not get faint. That is Isaiah 40, 31. And number six, we are special. You are special. Every person is watching it now or later. I just want you to know you are special. God says you are special. Jesus died on the cross for your sins. You are special. Um, I know I knew you before I formed you in your mother's womb. Before you were born, I set you apart, appointed you as my prophet to the nations. You were special. He knew you before you were even in your mother's womb. He chose the parents for you. Like he made you. Okay, here's little Callie. Yes, Callie, you're special. You want to say hi? Hi. She does. She freaks out when you hold her. She likes her, her to be in control. Okay, she's off now. Um, and then number seven, we'll end with we are treasured. Deuteronomy 14.2. You have been set apart as a holy to the Lord your God. And he has chosen you for, for the nations of the earth to be his own special treasure. You are chosen. You are treasured. You are his treasure. So um, I'm not seeing any other comments. So I'm going to go ahead and in this responded. What did they say? That's where my mom hit the pothole on 50 and went over Echo Summit. And we all survived a miracle testimony. Wow, that is a miracle testimony. So I wasn't on 50. I was on 80. Which eight, So if you're on 50, it takes you to straight up into Tahoe and you go Folsom, El Dorado Hills, all of that. I was on 80, which goes through um, Roseville, Rockland, Auburn, and you continue going and you end up past Truckee and then it takes you right into Reno. So I was on that way. Um, thank you for the 75th blessing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Yes. So I'm just going to end with this fun, funny little fact. Um, so Callie, who was just on my lap, she likes to play fetch. She puts a lot of things in her mouth. And many times we've come up things missing. And Dan's like, oh, she couldn't have taken it. But it turns out she did take it. So anyway, um, there's this pins this tape that he had one was pink and he kept trying to find it and one day it was just recently it was in the kitchen on the floor well i come home today as we're unloading everything and all i see is this like gold sparkly stuff i thought they got into maybe one of my my closets and i had some like christmas wrapping in there but it's all down my 
And I'm thinking, what the heck is this? Because it, the beginning of it was actually in the kitchen. And Dan walks in and I'm like, I don't even know. Wait, it's attached to this roll. It's not that. And he's like, that's my pinstripe bean. He goes, I had it way over on the table. She must have gone up on the table carried it over and the three of them I think must have had a blast because it was all up and down <laughs> all over the place Dan had to rewrap it because he uses it for like gold pinstriping anyway so that was quite funny so thank you all I've got to run blessings to you all and I just want you to know that you are treasured you are special so um, blessings. Thank you for all the support that you give me. Um, I would love if you would share this. Maybe it will bless somebody. And I will be back on Friday for you. And I was asking if you guys would be, what it, it, do you like the idea of doing, I think I'm going to call it Coffee and Dreams with Jody and Friends Seasons. Like season, the interviews I'm going to have are going to be around seasons of transition, seasons, different seasons that maybe were significant in their life and how they, how with God they got through, through it and processed through it. So um, these ones may not be live, but would you guys be interested in kind of that work? It'll be more of an interview side because I feel like Motivational Monday and Campfire Friday, um, when I veer from that, it's not stained with the pureness of what that podcast is made for. So I just felt like I was supposed to bring the one back that I did, or should I do a totally different one? Let me know. I've gone back and forth, but I'd love to know. Should I do a totally third um, one where is I that one? I will. It won't be a set day that it is, but we will record them more podcast style ahead of time, and then be releasing um, the episodes, and they'll all be. I'll bring different people on, and we have kind of like a, a not a formal interview. It's more like a discussion. Um, I might ask them, I may have a couple of questions that I'll ask every single person, but it'll be more of a guest type of format. Um, so let me know what you guys think of that. Would you be interested in that? So talk to you all. Blessings to you all. Bye.